Hi guys, so today we're going to learn about probability and set theory. So your problem is you spin a numbered spinner shown below. Event A is landing on an even number and event B is landing on a number greater than 2. What is the intersection of event A and B? So the first thing you should do is like underline important parts. So I'd underline event A and an even number and then I'd also underline event B and greater than 2. And I'd circle intersection because that's what it's looking for. So if you don't know what an intersection is, it's basically what A and, what set A and B have in common. So, um, and the set is also a well-defined collection of distinct objects. So it's basically like this is set A, and it's just the numbers that it'd be asking for. So, like, it's looking for an even number. So I'm going to write down all the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, and 8. I'm getting them from over here, so it's 2, 4, 6, and 8. And then set B is numbers that are greater than 2, so it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And so, this is what a set is. It's basically like the numbers in between these brackets right here on both of them. So, the next thing we're going to do is look for the intersection, which is what they both have in common. So, since A only has 2, and since A only has 2 and B does not have 2 at all in any of those numbers, 2 would not count. And so we just move on to the next number, which is 4. Set A has 4 and set B also has 4. So that's what, what an intersection pretty much is. So I'd circle 4. And set A has 6. And then set B also has 6 right here. So I'd also circle this one since they both have it. And they both have 8 too, so I'd circle 8. And since set A does not have 3, 5, or 7, those won't be your answer, so you can just cross them out. So the numbers I circled were, were 4, 6, and 8. So that's basically your answer because it's what the only numbers set A and B have in common, so that's what the intersection is. And I hope this helped you out, and thanks.